All right, so it's fairly straightforward. Um, you go to this link, you download the Windows zip is what I downloaded. You zip it to unzip it wherever you want, open it up, and you can go to Elden Ring or you can just do edit games. This should be all empty. Go to uh, profile, make sure that Elden Ring is selected, go to browse, um, look for your uh, app data. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. Um, or you can do, um, so you have uh, local disk, you have users, name of my computer is Spart. <laughs> App data, roaming, and Elden Ring. Click on this, open, sure. And then it will um, auto-populate this, I think. And then you do new profile name, doesn't really matter. And then close out. Go to it doesn't really matter, import save, and that will be your most recent save. And then you just, as you progress through the game, you quit out, import save, F2, so that you can change the site file name, or you can just, you can just right click it, uh, rename, and then name it like Godric. And that will be your Godric save file, and then you progress, and then it'll be, I don't know, Let's just say Moog. That's your next save file, and then so on and so forth. And then uh, whenever you want to make a new one, you just select it, replace, obviously. Um, but if you die, you just quit out, back to the, the main menu, load save, and then uh, continue. Uh, select continue, and it will go to where your save file is. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, it should be fairly straightforward, but um, anyway, there you go.